Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you were passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm, maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh. That was something. Broad, back the hell back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong! Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours! Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal, knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up? And leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the uh, fuck out of I... here. That was the word. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. That's a loot. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. 
people the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand apiece. That's a fucking fortune! Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I... Don't. Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. See you later.
Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt. Three quarters of a mile effective range and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey. You need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy, we hit Utah Beach. And yeah, that wasn't no picnic neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, I, I really gotta get going. All right, hey, by the way... I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. See you around, Vito. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that.
Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, we buy you a ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a uh, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming! Those black cars! Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on it. They got All guns! Right. Showtime! They got guns! Up there in that window! Let's go! Chop, chop! <coughs> Move it, Vito! We can't let that fat bastard get away. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky! I'm going in! Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you're in trouble. What are you scared, asshole? They teach you that in the army? Come on, think of something. Hurry up here. Me up, Vito. What the fuck is that? Is that the fucking best you got? Oh, you in trouble. God damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of blues. Come on, let's go. Chop, chop. Yeah! 
get on your bad side. Back me up, Vito! Oh no! No! Alright, go tank, Vito! Oh god. oh god, no! I'm gonna fail you! Vito. Come on, we're taking the elevator. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Shoot at me for Christ's sakes! Vito, do something! You're the expert here! Upstairs.
come out. <laughs> Don't kill me. Please, I got a wife. You should have thought about your wife before. Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh! Fuck! Oh, fuck you! Sorry, you. Henry, you okay? Where'd he hit? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg! Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Take it easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, oh Marona, you're heavier than you look. That fat fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Hey, careful! This fucking hurts. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't get moaning. No, please. I don't want that. I don't need to get pissy. Fuck. Ah, this whole fucking place is coming apart. Don't cover us. Cover us for Christ's Fine. sake. Feet don't cover us. Cover us for Christ's sake. Cover us. Cover us for Christ's sake. Saying that, pal, it's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh, you shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. <clears throat> I've seen that in a movie once. In pursuit of yeah. our suspect, we're what taking him down. Movie? He died. Roger that. Uh. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother.
Hey, Vito, step on it. Henry sweating like a whore in church back here. You know what make me drive faster? You start a zit. Vito, come on. Can't this thing go any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Ah, uh, come on, Vito. At this rate, we get there fast if we walk. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. <gasps> no questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Vito there, that house, park right in front. You El Greco the doctor? No, I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, hand him. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait, I got money for you, for the job. Take it. You know this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah, me too. I'll <sighs> stay here with him. Meet me at my place. <sighs> All right. Hey, come on, I need to borrow this.
Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, hey, have you? don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Ha <laughs> ha 